45-43. Tulsa leads. Three seconds to play. 51 yards for the near hash mark for Matt Hogan. The Houston Cougars once again prove they can perform under pressure with a thrilling last-second field goal to beat it's Tulsa November distance. 7th. perfect world, you know, it wouldn't be that close, but, you know, right now, at this point in the season, we'll take them however we can get them. I, you know, I watch all these games every week. Uh, you know, we're not the only ones, I'll put it that way. So, I think Cincinnati won by, what, two? So, I, I bet Brian Kelly's saying the same thing. They've won, they moved on. You know, I, I look out there right now, I don't know that there's a um, any, maybe say 10 years ago, where there's a dominant team in all of football. Um, you know, the, the, the age of where you see all these 50 to 3 and 60 to all those scores. I haven't seen those scores this year, and, uh, and at least not out of the top 25 teams. You know, I look up every week and it's a touchdown, it's five points, it's three points. Led by Heisman candidate Case Keenum, Houston climbs to number 13 in the AP poll, 12 in the coaches poll, and 15th in the BCS. You know, my goal right now is to, to be UCF, and, you know, my goal is not to win the Heisman. My goal is not to win awards or break records. Or my goal is to beat UCF no matter no matter how we have to do it. And, uh, you know, I, I see any award, any individual award, any individual thing as a team award. And, you know, if you're not, if you're not uh, you know, being successful in winning games, then, you know, those, those team accolades aren't going to roll your way. So. At 8-1 and one on the season, 4-1 and one in Conference USA, the Cougs take on the University of Central Florida on Saturday. It's a team that brings a physical defensive front and is fighting for one more win to become bowl eligible. They're, they're, they're going to try to run the ball and, 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 uh, and, and eat up the clock and use time of possession to their advantage. And they're going to be physical up front with us and try to get after our quarterback. And... and uh, you know, we, we've got to be able to uh, um, get off the field as a defense on third down. We've got to be able to continue to get turnovers. And we've got to make plays in the kicking game. And, and, uh, and then we've got to be efficient on offense because they're going to try to limit our possessions. Just knowing that this is the next game that could possibly project us closer and closer to getting to the conference championship, you're going to have, and we have three games left. And so it's a stretch. And so every game you got to come out with more and more fire and excitement. That way you can go out there and, and win and execute.